working with what I had. Yeah, but he, I saw what he was trying to do. Wow, well, I am losing you. Horrible. I've lost all faith in you, Bonnie. I've lost all faith. <gasps> this is Southern. <laughs> I'm Christopher Harris, originally from Scotland. I'm going to win this game because that's what I do, I win. <laughs> But my strategy was psychoanalyze my fellow contestants and cater my cards to their personalities. <laughs> my name is Kristen Rand. I'm from Denver, Colorado, but I have a southern mother-in-law. I think it's really going to give me an advantage today. Hi, I'm Bonnie. I'm originally from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, not the Mississippi one, which I learned moving here you have to identify. Went to University of Alabama, and I've been here for a little, so roll time. Oh, wow. Pandering. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Reagan. I'm from Galesburg, Illinois, the land of the trains. I actually hate almost all things Southern. I don't drink sweet tea, don't like okra, so I'm probably gonna fail at this game. Wow. Yeah. My experience from Illinois, um, frankly, did not help me at all. I was completely alone in this game. I had no idea what was happening. You're definitely gonna lose this. I'm gonna lose this game. I'm just gonna do it. I'm not about that. Jump, yeah, but gently. <gasps> Reagan! Hey, everybody. So sorry. Check your phones. The last person who called their mama goes first and is the storyteller for the round. I call my mom all the time. I called her at 4.16 p.m. yesterday. <sighs> yeah, I called my mom on Wednesday. It's Sunday. Too. Sunday like, for wow. you. 2016. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Bonnie, you are Probably the storyteller. Round one, five. So the card is, he's more suspicious than. Than what? I don't you tell me. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, Bunny. Okay, can I look? Am I you, good? You may. He is more suspicious than an overripe banana on a tightrope. Not necessarily huh. suspicious. Huh. I mean, it's suspicious in a sense, like what's an overripe banana doing on a tightrope, but <laughs> <laughs> he's more suspicious than a bald hedgehog at space camp. That would that'd be alarming, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are you laughing at your own address? <laughs> Like that one, that one, pick that one. Sure, it may have seemed very obvious every time I was advocating for my cards, but sometimes you need someone in your corner, and it, it's me. I'm, I'm the one in my corner. He's more suspicious than a sneezing cat in a cloud of pollen. That makes absolute sense. Yeah, but it's not suspicious that he'd be sneezing. Correct. What? So that's eliminated maybe, immediately. Maybe it is. And then just like helping the judge out. You know, helping them, guide them to the right decision. Why is the hedgehog bald to begin with? So, guess so that's immediately question. something Someone you'd be it. suspicious of, that's right? I know. And that's the first suspicion. I'm going with the banana. Ridiculous. <laughs> One for okay, me. Okay, so here's you yeah. I'm, 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 sneaky. No, I'm in your head already. Okay, wow. I cannot wait to be the judge right now. What tape on the scene of transactions? All right. He looked more ridiculous than. And then here I go. This one's a winner. You think you're gonna win this time? Oh, you don't look like a winner. <laughs> First of all, Reagan, I'm unimpressed with him, but I'm glad that he's doing well at high school. I mean, I'm, I don't mean that in a mean way, I'm just being honest. When was the last time you talked to your mom again? <laughs> Honestly, he, he needed to be taking down a few pegs. He's just like, I'm from Scotland, I'm better than you, and I, I didn't want that. Okay, are we ready? Go on. He right. looked more ridiculous than a couple of Siamese cats on a broken seesaw. I'm gonna read them like my mother-in-law. Is that okay? Honestly, if it's what Cookie would say, that's what. Her I'm name's gonna Cookie. Cookie. Of course. Oh. Okay. He looked more ridiculous than an out-of-control electric scooter at a debutante ball. <laughs> He looked more ridiculous than a cannon full of gumbo in a kissing booth. <laughs> That's a good one. I think they're all great. I'm going with the, the cannon full of gumbo in a kissing booth. Yes? You earned it. I'm proud of Is you. Somebody kissing the gumbo? Or Thank what's, you. What's Listen, it's there? not, we don't have to break it all down. Cannon full of gumbo in the kissing booth. That's something you'd hear somebody say. Yeah, I could hear Cookie saying it. And that's how I judged, was with the heart and mind of Cookie. All right, here we go. Here we go. This okay. is for Reagan. Oh. He's dumber than, <laughs> and there you go. Okay. It, it really hurt. All his insults, they really cut me to my core, and it gave me the fuel I needed to power through and to crush him, ultimately. First one is, he's dumber than a camouflage jet ski in a forest full of ugly sticks. I like it. <laughs> Dueling banjos in a construction zone. 
<laughs> Decent. He's dumber than a barrel full of bacon grease at Poppy's hidden moonshine still. <laughs> a lot of character in that one. I like that. Is that yours? It's very wordy. That's all. <laughs> anyway, the winner is he's dumber than a camouflage jet ski in a forest full of ugly sticks. He really likes ugly that. sticks. I tend to be the person where like I step back and I watch and I observe and then I go in for the attack. You're doing great. I'm really proud of you. Thank you. I hope you win, honestly. Thank you. I'm rooting for you. Thank you. <laughs> I really was rooting for Bonnie. I thought she was doing great. I kind of loved that she was like minding her business and crushing these people. All right, new story time. Story time. This store is bigger than. This store is bigger than. This store is bigger than the last roll of toilet paper in a quarantined outhouse. I feel like that's this something follows. you would have played. I would have played that, yep. Yeah. You gotta play to your judge. Mark, this store is bigger than a monogram tote bag in a truck stop bathroom. Do truckers have monogram tote bags? <laughs> Don't judge. I think so. yeah, everything's monogrammed here, by the way. You think this it's store, not what it is. <laughs> this store is bigger than a bucket of peas on the moon. <laughs> I'm sorry, this one, this, the imagination behind this one. Thank you, finally I get a card. Thank you so much. Oh. Wait, that's, that's it? You just picked it like that? I just knew. I have to agree with him. That's too, too similar. It's too similar. That's so Reagan. I, want right to I just didn't have that's that card. That's so Reagan. <laughs> Okay, Bonnie, here we go. The highway stresses me out more than, keep in mind I used to live in Los Angeles, so uh, very stressful. Same. You look like you're going through a breakup, Bonnie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just like. <laughs> really sad here, just like chugging away. Yeah. <laughs> just desperately not hanging out. Like, We're here for you, Bonnie, you can talk about it. She's like, no. Don't always so turn to alcohol. Reagan has it. Do you, you drink? And watch him thrive. You drink alcohol. You don't drink alcohol. alcohol. Okay. I just saw how you came out. I just, exactly. I didn't yeah. like that. <laughs> when he came after me, um, it was unpleasant. I would like to call his mother. He should be spanked, honestly. The highway stresses me out more than a 10 cent umbrella on a riverboat casino. Sounds good. Sounds stressful, to be honest. Yeah. I don't know. What if it's right? That's cheap and that's fun. I'm not stressed. I always hear about riverboat casinos, but I've never been on one. They have one in, uh, they have them in Mississippi, don't they? I don't know. Oh, you're not from, none of us are from, can somebody help? <laughs> yes. here. The highway stresses me out mm -hmm. more than a pair of dull fingernail clippers in a Gatlinburg cabin. Oh, that is stressful. The highway stresses me out more than a Bible salesman in a spring tornado. Oh, Lord. Yeah, that sounds stressful. Yeah, you're trying to survive a tornado? And, out Bibles Bible and, Bible and meanwhile, Bible he's you. pitching you Bibles, and you're like, we have bigger priorities. And he's like, no, you're dying. This is the, biggest, the biggest priority, priority of have. all. I'm going to go with the Bible salesman in a spring tornado. Excellent I choice. It. Wow. Your question, y'all. She's quieter than. She's quieter than. <laughs> Goodbye. What's Myrtle Beach? <laughs> Do you know? Are you for real? We can play a game that you're good at later. She is quieter than a dirty old slow cooker in Papa's garage. <laughs> okay. She's quieter than an old kettle at Meemaw's dusty attic. Wow, Meemaw, that's Papa. A that's a theme. Okay. She's quieter than a Wall Street <laughs> banker on a porch full of rocking chairs. But that actually makes sense because they don't have anybody to yell at because they're on a porch. La Rock and they're chairs. always there. Yeah, they're always. I'm yelling. actually gonna go with that because it got me, ah! Reagan. Did gotcha. you got me? Gotcha. Okay, you ready? Yes. Ready. He's crankier than. You know, if the ceiling collapsed, I mean, I don't think it would kill us, but I think we'd have to leave. We couldn't keep playing this game. After yeah. yeah. Well, not the AC though. So. Well, that's gonna land probably on you. I think you're closest. To yeah, that's kind of, that is kind of coming for you. Okay. He's crankier than Santa Claus in Atlanta traffic. Wow, great <laughs> and good, seasonally good. appropriate. He's crankier yeah. than a fistful of manure in a sold out concession stand. He's crankier than a cardiologist at a nudist colony. Santa Claus in the traffic. Wow. Oh, look at you. It was just it's so literal. Up. I'm hungrier than. I'm hungrier than. I'm hungrier than a man eating kudzu floating down the Mississippi. Where's a kudzu? It's a vine. I'm hungrier than my Aunt Edna at an outdoor baptismal in February. Yeah, and there's no food at the baptismal. That's sad. I'm hungrier <laughs> than a three-legged dog 
near an exposed septic tank. Oh, oh that's ooh. so sad. There's a darkness to that one I haven't heard in this game yet that I'm kind of drawn to. I think my humor is darker, it's quirkier, it's abstract, it's really postmodern. Are you dark? Look at me, well, I, I have a darkness. Is that why you don't drink? I have darkness. You know, like, let them bicker, let them get it out, let them play with their mind games with what cards with, but then you'll notice, like, I go in and I'm like, oh yeah, that one, that one is funny. Real casual, they don't know what's coming. No, this is a coin tree, a pickle. <laughs> Do you, I, think, <laughs> I think the septic tank gets it, yes. for sure. I have a dark side to me, I'm told. I don't know. Let's do it. He was ruder then. Somebody mm -hmm. at this table I can base this one off of. Mm -hmm. oh. He was ruder then. A crooked fishing pole at Mama's house. Not right. He was ruder then. An IQ test in an early grave. Oh. <laughs> You're dead and they won't let you rest. You have to take an IQ <laughs> test. Everybody. That's yours, isn't it? Of course I'm gonna fight for it. <laughs> <laughs> he was ruder then. A stash of Girl Scout cookies in a tree stand. No, there's nothing rude about cookies. Well, it's, what it's, is I a tree love Girl stand? Scout cookies. Isn't a tree stand like a hunter thing? Oh, so if someone's like in the tree stand, like I oh, can't get right. Girl Scout cookies, yep. they're like, yeah. they're yeah, gonna yeah, kill yeah. me yeah. Girl Scout cookies. But days. the person who put them <laughs> in the tree stand is the rude person. The cookies aren't rude. <sighs> Listen, Girl, Girl Scout, Scout cookies, cookies can't be rude. rude. I stand by that. Just like really think about like really what's rude. Think about who your like, competition really is here and who. Think about it. Being rude about this. Three okay, just away. go with the Girl Scout cookies. It's the Girl Scout cookies. <laughs> Horrible. I've lost all faith in you, Bonnie. I've lost all faith. Why are you rooting for me? I was, but that's what I'm saying. Now I'm they not. And I kind of, I, I, I turned on her. And for that, I do apologize. Because I do like Bonnie. She's a great gal. Just really believed in her a little bit more. That's the person <laughs> that's hoarding them is rude, not the cookies themselves. So the right, who's the storyteller? No, who was me? Turn. Me. Yeah. All right. I guess okay. I'm just really delirious right now <laughs> from the fact that I thought that answer was actually pretty good with the cards I had got <laughs> about what I had. <laughs> Throw me a bone <laughs> over here with one card. <laughs> There's a big to-do about the Girl Scout cookies in the tree stand, and I think that was my favorite because it involved that abstract storytelling. The people who didn't get it just, you know, they left behind. I think Reagan doesn't understand how card games work. He's clumsier than. <sighs> just keeping in mind that when I read these, I'm gonna be thinking of things that can actually be clumsy. Okay. Some people are gonna do different things, like think cookies could be rude, right? Like we're gonna all so just do a judge in our own way. I don't really respect any of them as judges at all. <laughs> He's clumsier than a widowed granny on the last day of hunting season. Bless her, did she shoot her husband? <laughs> He's clumsier than the Easter bunny on a dry water slide. He is clumsier than a feisty seagull in a cellar full of snakes. That's a good one. Yeah, it's great. Is it yours? Now I feel like I need to just break it down and be like, what it he's, is my no, no, favorite no, 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 answer. No, 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 what he's doing is he's pretending that's his, so that one doesn't win. No, it is the best answer. The best and it, yeah, but, but I'm just letting you know what's going on inside it's the best one Reagan's right. crazy head, yeah, that's the best right? One. Is it yours? Okay, that's mine. Okay. That's the best answer. I know, I know. That was good. You got me, man. <laughs> yeah, but he, I saw what he was trying to do. <clears throat> All right, yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. These, <laughs> these 18 year olds, these two. I was like, well, I am you? I am not 18, but I would like to not disclose my actual age from this interview. Yeah. 17. <laughs> <laughs> You're as friendly as. Do you know things about friend qualities? Yes. Yeah, I read so you it. You want sincerity here. Oh, no, I just want pure humor. Cynical, if you can. All right, here we go, Chris. You're as friendly as a chicken sandwich on a hot air balloon. There he goes. <laughs> he thinks it's funny. You're as friendly as a colorless peacock in a glitter factory. You're as friendly as an industrial bug zapper in a fish bowl of kerosene. <laughs> That's the winner. Thank you, that was, very, that was really good. Yeah, I was so Wow. All right. Last round, guys. Oh! Okay. She's as stubborn as... What would you know about being stubborn? <laughs> I'll show you in a minute. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, he didn't really... He basically wasn't playing. He was just, he was just there. And he closes his eyes like a strange... Like, kind of like a lizard or something. <laughs> Sensing some stubbornness from this direction. Okay. 
Okay, wait, guys. She's as stubborn as a broke down truck and a community theater play. That would be stubborn. I would not like that. She's as stubborn as... As a theater kid, I would not like that. Pretty stubborn, She's as though. stubborn as a Kentucky baseball fan at a Friday night football game. Some mixed metaphors there. She's as stubborn as a 30 pound homecoming mum on a horse with no legs. <laughs> what is a homecoming mum? A flower with dangling ribbons all the way down to the ground and there's teddy bears on it and... See, I was thinking this was just a 30 pound woman. And the girl was supposed to wear it. Which was confusing at first. Yeah, the other player was really good. I did feel as if they, they understood Southern things more than me. They knew what mums were. I didn't, there was a lot of things I just didn't quite understand. It's just like, this situation will not go well, and yet somebody has decided, like, this is gonna be where we put our mum. I think this is the one. <laughs> that's mine. Bonnie, I was rooting for you. We that's, were all Wait, rooting. that's mine. It's yours? That's mine, Bonnie. Not? Bonnie, that's <laughs> mine. Give me a card. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, well done, Bonnie. Thank you. Basically, I won. I killed it. I did an amazing job. Everybody loved me. Even like everyone I was playing with, it's like, oh my god, I wanted her to win so bad. Come in here. I am actually very proud of Bonnie Thank that you. she won. And I didn't say it on camera when I had my chance. I'm proud of you. Thank you so much. <laughs> I think I lost because they're all bad judges. Also, maybe because all of my cards were places I hadn't heard of. If I played again, I would try and get rid of some of the crappier cards first. Because there were some bad cards, no offense Matt, there were some bad cards in there, honestly. When I lost this game, it was so humiliating. It just reminded me that I have much to learn about the South. The South is a great place and uh, I gotta be honest, I gotta do my homework next time. I gotta come in and just beat that Chris guy, that's for sure. I learned a lot of good sayings. I mean, I, they're made up, right? I think what I learned is that you can take anything and put it together and it's a Southern phrase. Like you can just yes. use a metaphor and it's like, oh, yes. that yes. makes mm -hmm. say with an accent, it's Southern. That's how it works. If y'all thought this looked fun, guess what? It was fun. And if you want your own box of Just Like Mama Used to Say, you can go ahead and hop on store.southernthing.com and get yourself one. Play with your friends. Play with your family. It's a blast. Happy New Year.